Hello and welcome back to 11.5 of my tutorial series showing you how to make your own cartoon from start to finish with Toon Boom Harmony Premium. In the last episode I showed you a couple of ways you can rig the mouth and in this episode I wanted to show you an alternative way similar to how I have seen it done in a few other tutorials and in rigs that I've built in the past. It's quite similar to the method I showed you in the last video except instead of syncing layers we are going to be using clones and color selectors while still using a separate inner mouth and I'm also going to be adding bottom teeth as well. So let me show you what I mean. So here we have still got our inner mouth which is just a square shape at the back of the head that has just been masked to the colour art of the jaw and the head. So now with the mouth I've deleted all the other layers so we can start from the beginning and if I go into this mouth here and then I go into the drawing tab what I've done is I have separated out all of the mouth elements onto their own sub art layers inside of the mouth so they are no longer their own separate art nodes. So I've put the teeth on the overlay of the mouth, I've put the line and the colour on the line sub art layer, I've put the bottom teeth on the colour and I've put the tongue on the underlay and you can see them all here. So what we need to do next is we need to clone the mouth. So I'm going to clone this mouth four times because we want one for the teeth, the tongue, the lower teeth, the line and also the colour which is going to be used as a mask just like our last method. So I'm just going to simply control C and press control V four times. So now we've got those and we can just attach them to our mouth composite. I'm then going to rename each one. So I'm going to rename the mouth to mouth line. This is going to be teeth upper, teeth lower, tongue, and this is going to be called mouth mask. Then we can add pegs to all of those by highlighting and pressing Control shift p and then I'm going to attach those to the main mouth peg. So all of these are clones of this mouth, so they're exactly the same. So all the adjustments you make to this mouth will be applied to these mouths. Now we need to tell Toon Boom what we want to be displayed. So for this one, we need to go into here and let's go on the drawing tab and we only want the line sub layer to be displayed. So let's tick everything off except the line layer because if we go into the drawing tab, that's what the line is on, it's on the line layer. We do need to separate out the colour as well and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. And then we're going to do the same for the teeth upper which is on the overlay. So again we come into here and we untick everything except the overlay. The teeth lower is on the colour. So same thing. With the tongue that is on the underlay. The mouth mask, we're going to be using the colour as the mask. So we can do the same with what we did with the line. So we're just going to keep the line selected. So we need to separate out our mouth line and mouth mask, even though they're on the same line sub layer. If we had more art sub layers, we could just add the mouth mask separately, but we're only limited to four. So the way we can separate out one sub art layer is by using a color selector node. So if I press enter, type in color selector. If you're using an older version of Toon Boom, it might be called color override. So we're gonna use the color selector and we're gonna attach it to the mouth line. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it and attach it to the mask. So these are in the correct order. So you've got the mouth line at the front, teeth upper, teeth lower, tongue, and the mouth mask, which will be at the back. So the, what the color selector does is it tells Toon Boom to only read the colors that you have chosen. So if we go into here, we're going to add a color. We're gonna go down to mouth line, and these are all the colors within the whole mouth. So we're just gonna select 
the line there and press close and that's just telling Toon Boom to read this line color here. We're going to do the same thing for the mouth mask but instead of the line we're going to choose mouth inner and we're going to press close. So now we want to mask all of our inner mouth elements to the mouth mask. So we're going to make three cutters, we're going to attach those to our teeth and tongue and we're going to plug our mouth mask into each of those from this point because we don't want it to be masked by the line so we can plug those into there click the invert button for each one so now they are all inside the mouth we're then gonna get the mouth mask and we're gonna unplug it out of here because we don't want it to be visible we just want it to mask the color and the line art of the jaw and the head so we're gonna plug that into the line art of the head and the jaw and we're gonna plug it into the color art of the head and the jaw so this will still be able to be used for the side mouths so if i bring this over here to the side you can see this has not yet been cut so it needs to be cut with the jaw and the head so i'm going to get a composite and a cutter so this is just the line being cut i'm going to attach the jaw and the head to this plug it in there click the inverse so that's being cut and we've still got our mouth inner element here which can be moved over and deformed just like we did in the last video like that so that's how it will work for the side profile view when we come to the turnaround but let's select that mouth and press r to reset it back and also all of these are still synced with the jaw so let me just go through some of these different drawing substitutions that we've made so for this R shape the bottom teeth I've decided that I don't want them to be displayed for this particular mouth shape so they're just at the bottom out of view here but you can always bring them up if you want to for this E shape I have moved them up with the select tool and only amending the R to making sure not to move the peg. So all of these still move appropriately with each mouth shape. With this F shape you can see that it's staying yellow there and that's because I need to add the teeth colour to the colour selector like that. And with this particular mouth shape the teeth are on the line art layer instead of the overlay and that's because we want the teeth to come over the bottom lip. With the TH sound I have put the tongue on the teeth layer because I want it to be shown over the teeth. So the only downside with this method is that you can't use overlays for the teeth anymore like we could do with the last method I showed in the last video. However, the workaround for that is to add it to the other sub art layers. So this is more of a bonus episode just showing you an alternative way of rigging the mouth. But in the next episode, we will be rigging the legs. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below or you can ask me live over on Twitch where I stream this stuff five days a week. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful please feel free to like and subscribe your support really does go a long way and if you want to be notified of any future videos you can click that notification bell. Thanks again I'll see you in the next video bye!